Nowadays, we use bandwidth for everything. We use it for online shopping, work, and watching TV at home. We also use it for video conferencing and chatting with friends through Wi-Fi in a cafe. In order to provide ultra broadband services anytime, wherever they are needed, we need an access network. All services we mentioned before can be implemented with a network device and a cable connected to the carrier's network. This cable stands for Carrier's Communications Network. The access network contains all communications devices between user terminals and the man. Its length is generally between hundreds of meters to dozens of miles. That's why it's also called the last mile. In actual network construction, an area is divided into multiple grids by streets and users. One grid maps to one access network unit and is covered by one CO equipment room. Due to diverse user requirements, an area may have multiple network construction modes and scenarios. Fibers are let out from the CO equipment room. Then, they are connected in the closure within a manhole and distributed through the distribution box. The scenario in which fibers are connected to a cabinet along a curb is called FTTC. When fibers are connected to a building is called FTTB. When fibers are connected to home is called FTTH. When fibers are connected to enterprise campuses is called POL. And when fibers are connected to a mobile station is called FTTM. With service development, the access network evolves from voice to broadband to ultra broadband. Now, voice and broadband access are completely carried over IP networks. Similar to wireless evolution from 2G to 3G to 4G, fixed access technologies are also continuously improving. Optical fibers, twisted pairs, and cables all can implement 1000 megabits per second ultra broadband access. This finally achieves access network upgrade from 100 megabits per second to 1000 megabit per second. Huawei launches the single fan solution for gigabit access. This solution is designed based on the uniform platform and network architecture quickly delivering 1,000 megabits per second access. Looking ahead, broadband access can be dramatically developed. There are 1.1 billion non-connected households globally and a 400 million ADSL line requires speed-up. By year 2020, there will be 300 million smart homes. Broadband access – a bright future.